Well, I've been doing a bit of soldering this morning. Um, I made up a cable with a TRRS connector on one end and an RCA plug on the other. And TRRS stands for tip, ring, ring, sleeve. That's what plugs into the accessory jack on the KX2 to produce a key out. I don't have the 100 watt amplifier that Elecraft makes for the KX2 and KX3, but I do have the KPA 500. So I thought I would hook the two together, see how they get along, and uh, they get along quite well. Anyway, right now I've got the, um, the only thing needed, which is that cable um, going from the accessory out of the KX2 into the key in on the KPA 500. I'm on 20 meters and um, the KX2 from a battery is set to produce 10 watts out on CW. So with the amp offline, let's just verify that. I've got a watt meter in the background and I am getting 10 watts out. And yes, I did make sure the frequency was clear before I started doing this. Okay, so let's turn on the amplifier and see what happens. Looks like I'm getting about 160 to 170 watts out. I've got two watt meters. One of them is built into the KPA 500. And the other one is not digital, so it's a little easier to see. Let's see if I can zoom in on it a little. Built into the tuner. About 150 to 170 watts. I haven't tried this on the other bands, but um, I will and I'm pretty sure the results will be the same. Um, it was easy to set up. There's no menu option required on the KX2 to enable that PA out uh, signal from the accessory jack. And QSK seems the same with the amplifier as it is with the KX2 by itself. Um, smooth and, and, well, perfect. So uh, it's a neat way to get uh, almost 200 watts out of a tiny transceiver.